In this video, we're going to look at electrical power. In the first instance, we're going to look at what power is. So power is a rate of energy transfer. Remember this key word here, rate, means per unit time. So that means that power is equal to energy over time. Remember that energy is also the same as saying work done. So we use work done to mean the same as energy. They're equivalent sayings in physics. So power can also equal work done over time. Remember that power is measured in watts, energy is measured in joules, and time is measured in seconds. So that gives us a brief understanding of what power is prior to this unit. When we look at electrical power, power can be calculated for an electrical circuit from the potential difference and the current in the circuit, where power is equal to current times potential difference. We use the symbols P for power, I for current, V for potential difference. Remember that power is measured in watts, current is measured in amps, and potential difference is measured in volts. Remember that fuses are a safety feature. Fuses contain a thin wire which will melt if the current passing through the wire is too high. That breaks the circuit and prevents electrical fires and prevents people from having electrical shocks. The fuse value, remember, should always be slightly higher than the current passing through the appliance. So for a 10 amp current, you would need to use a 13 amp fuse. And that will be important later when we calculate currents for electrical circuits. So now we're going to have a go at solving a question related to this. Um, so you can see that we've got the equation still there, that electrical power is equal to current times potential difference. And it says to calculate the electrical power when a device draws a 2 amp current from the main supply in the UK. And it then tells you to remember that the main supply is 230 volts. So the first step is to highlight what we know in the question. So I'm just going to go under here. So I've got a 2 amp current, which I'm going to highlight in red. <clears throat> and I've also got a 230 volt potential difference. So I'm going to write out my equation. So I'm going to use a symbol, well, I'll already use a full form. So I've got power is equal to current times potential difference. And I'm just going to put my numbers in underneath. So I'm going to say that P is equal to, I've highlighted in uh, that current is equal to 2. And I'm multiplying that by 230. So I'm going to put that into my calculator now. 2 times 230 gives me an answer of 460. And then I need to mark that as watts. Now in terms of marking points here, I get a mark for correctly substituting into the equation, a mark for the correct answer, and a mark for the unit. Please can you make sure you've worked through that on your, your, your sheet. And then we're going to move on to have some practice questions. So this slide, I'd like you to complete the practice questions on electrical power. I'll run through them with you shortly. So pause the video now, complete these questions, and I'll run through the answers with you. Okay, so in this one, to make space, I'm going to use the, um, the first thing I'm going to do is write down the equation. So I'm going to use a symbol equation. So P is equal to I times B. Okay, I'm going to look through my first question. It says calculate the power supply when a 3 volt cell supplies a 0.8 amp current. So 0.8 amps is my current, and I had a 3 volt cell. So I'm going to put these numbers into my equation now. So power is equal to 0.8 multiplied by 3. And again, I'm going to put that into my calculator to find the answer. So doing 0.8 times 3, I get the answer of 2.4. I must remember my units is watts. Again, we get three marks here, one for substituted in, one for the correct answer of 2.4, and one for the correct units of watts. The next question works in the same way. Power is equal to current times potential difference. Again, I go through and see what I know. So it says calculate the power supplied when a 12 volt battery supplies a 1.5 amp current. So 1.5 amps is my current, 12 volts is my battery, Write out the equation again. So power is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 12. And that means, again, I can put that into a calculator. So I'm doing 12 times 1.5. And that gives me a power of 18 watts. Show you the mark in for this. You get one mark for substituting your work in, one mark for the answer, one mark for unit. And then we move on to the final question. So the first step again, I'm going to try to my equation that power is equal to current times potential difference. And it says a device has a, a, a 5 amp fuse, 
So fire amps are given by current. And it's connected to the main supply in the UK. Uh, what would the power uh, be? What power would a device be to cause a fuse to melt? So the main supply in the UK, I have did that on the first question. That means that my voltage is equal to 230 volts. So if I've got a 5 amp fuse, I would need 5 amps to flow through my appliance in order to make the circuit, the fuse melt. So my current will be 5, my main supply is 230. So I put those into the, the equation. So I put 5 here and 230 there. I'm going to multiply those together. Um, and I'll find that power is equal to, if I put that into a calculator, is equal to 1,150 watts. Again, just going through to show you whether you get the marks. One mark for substituting the correct <coughs> numbers, one mark for the correct answer, and one mark for the correct unit. So again, giving you a score out of three. So let's now look at an example where we have to rearrange the equation. So it says calculate the electrical current when a five kilowatt device is connected to the main supply in the UK. So this time we've been asked to calculate the current. So we're not given the current this time, so we're going to have to calculate that. And we are, if we look through the example, it tells us that we've got a 5 kilowatt supply, which is our power. We'll put P above there. Um, and we're going to have to do that for the main supply again, where we know that the potential difference is equal to 230 volts. So we're going to write out the equation. So we get power equals current times potential difference. And we're going to put the numbers in. So we are given, I'm going to write that first of all, the current has got the symbol I. We're going to have that multiplied by 230 here, which is the potential difference. And we've got the power is equal to 5 kilowatts. Now, just with that, it's 5 kilowatts. We've got the kilo, which means 1,000. So that means that we've got that our power here is equal to 5 times 1,000 which is going to come out to be 5,000 watts. So you can put the 5,000 here, equals current times 230. So rearranging that, I've got a times on this side, I'm going to take that to the other side, so I'm going to get 5,000 over 230 equals my current. And so current will equal, I just need to put that into my calculator now. So 5,000 divided by 230 gives you an answer of 21.739130 and so on. We're just going to round that up to two significant figures, which will give me an answer of 22 amps. I'm going to put that to two significant figures there. Okay, so if I go through the questions, show you where you get the marking points, you get one mark for substituting your answer in. So 5,000 equals I times 230. A next mark for the rearrangement, which is 5,000 over 230. A five, and another mark for the 22, the correct answer. And your final mark is for getting the units of amps. So that is worth four for this question. Okay, we're going to move on to the next slide now. So what I'd like you to do now is to have a work through these examples. Um, if you pause the video while you do that and then unpause it, I'll come back on and explain to you how to calculate them and you can see if you've got them correct. So I hope that you've had enough time now to go through those questions. I'm actually going to run through them with you just to see if you've got them correct. So hopefully you've finished them. And we'll run through them now. So the first thing to remember is to write out the equation that we're using. So we're going to use that power is equal to current times potential difference. So we're doing it at the moment in time. And then I'm going to go back through and look at what I know. So in this one, it says to calculate the potential difference this time, V. Um, and it wants me to, um, it tells me that I've got a power rating of 1.19 watts. And I've got a current of uh, 0.5 amps. So I'm just going to underline those. So put them there. I can substitute those numbers into my equation. So I get 1.19 is equal to uh, the 0.5 multiplied by V. And then I'm going to rearrange my equation. So I've got a times on this side, which means I need to take the divi to divide it on the other. So I then get 1.19 over 0.5 equals V, which means that my potential difference is equal to, again, I'm going to put that into my calculator. That gives me an answer of 2.38 volts. Again, with a question, I've got three, um, three significant figures, so I'm going to write that down to three significant figures there. In terms of marking points, I would get a mark for substituting the numbers incorrectly, a mark for the arrangement, an answer 
of 2.38 gives me a mark, and then the units of a volt gives me a mark. So that is a score out of 4 again. The next question says the main supply in the UK supplies electricity to a 1.5 kilowatt hairdryer. Calculate the current and then which fuse should we use afterwards? The first spot is to calculate the current, um, which is here. So I'm going to need to underline that in red. I've got the main supply, which means that my uh, voltage is equal to 230 volts. Just write that down. Um, and then I've got a power supply of 1.5 kilowatts. Remember that I'm going to have to convert that into watts by times by 1,000. So P is equal to 1.5 times 1,000. Let me just undo that one second. And that's going to equal 1,500 watts. So now we're in a position to answer the question. So write down the equation. P equals I times V. And then I put the numbers in. So I've got 1,500 equals my current, which I'm trying to find out, multiplied by 230. Rearranging that, I'm going to get 1,500 over 230. And that's equals to my current. And that's going to give me a value of... That will be 6.5217 and so on. As you can round that up to 6.5 amps. Okay. And now I need to decide which um, fuse I'm going to use. So because I've got 6.5 amps, that's higher than the 5 amp fuse. So the correct one that I'm going to use here is going to be the 13 amp fuse. Okay, so in terms of marking points for this question, I'll run through those now. Uh, you'd probably get one mark for the conversion of power. Um, you get another mark for substituting the numbers in. A mark for the correct rearrangement. A mark for the correct answer of 6.5. A mark for the units of amps, so that's worth 5 for the calculation. And then you get a mark for getting the correct fuse, which is 13 amps. If you do the calculation incorrect, if you've got to convert your power to, uh, by times by 1,000, you've done 1 1.5 divided by 230, which would have given you an answer of uh, 0 0.006, and in which case you'd have selected to do the 3 amp fuse, and you could have still picked up 5 out of the 6 marks there. Okay, so going on to the final um, question now, which is, uh, we're looking at, in this case, um, question six. It says, the television has a power rate of 120 watts. I'm going to highlight that in black this time, because that's a power. Uh, if it's connected to the main supply in the UK, calculate the current. So the main supply means that I'm going to have 230 volts again. So I'm just going to put that onto here. So V is going to equal 230. Uh, is my potential difference and then it wants me to calculate the current so the first step of the question is to go through that so i'm going to use power equals current times potential difference i got the 120 is equal to current times 230. in this case i'm going to rearrange the equation i've got the time i need to divide so we get 120 over 230 equals current which means our current will equal, I just put that number into my calculator. So the answer is 0 0.521739, but I'm just going to round that to 0 0.52 to two significant figures. And that's in amps again. And then the final bit is to say which fuse should be used. So 0 0.52 is less than 3, so I can use my 3 amp fuse here. So 3 amp fuse is the one that I use. And in terms of marking points, I get a mark for substituting the numbers. A mark for the correct rearrangement, a mark for the correct answer of 0.52, a mark for the correct unit of amps, and finally, I get a mark for selecting the correct fuse of 3 amps there. So we've now run through electrical power. What I'd like to do now is to finish off this um, session by completing these questions on here and then marking them with the answers I've provided. I hope you found this video useful. I look forward to working with you again in the future. Thank you and goodbye.